The Abrascan RDS 1500 test strip reader is a second generation digital test strip interpretation device for use with Abraxas strip test kits. The reader provides a digital photographic record of the test strips, an objective analysis, and interpretation of line intensities. The Abrascan reader comes with a user's manual, the reader, a USB cable, a power adapter, interchangeable voltage adapters allowing for charging of the reader regardless of user location, two cartridges are also provided, a strip cartridge for reading of test strips, and a calibration cartridge for use in maintaining calibration of the reader's hardware. A flash drive, which contains the data manager software, is also included. The reader should be allowed to fully charge for two hours prior to first use. To charge the reader, plug the power cord connector into the port on the USB cable. The USB cable is then attached to the reader and the power cord is plugged into the power source. To preserve battery life and ensure optimal functioning, the reader should be kept on charge or plugged in when not in use. The primary buttons control several functions on the reader and can be used as shortcuts to carry out various operations. The power on off button is the uppermost left button and is used to power on the reader and also to turn off the screen. The Screen Brightness button is the uppermost right button opposite the Power On Off button. This button will bring up controls for changing the brightness of the touchscreen. After pressing the Screen Brightness button, the brightness can be changed using the stylus or the directional arrows located between and slightly below the On Off and Screen Brightness buttons. The user control menu is located in the top left area of the touchscreen and displays three menu options, Main, Results, and Settings. When the Abrascan reader is powered on, the main menu will be displayed. Return to the main menu at any time by selecting the main tab. Selecting the results tab from the user control menu will display the results screen showing the test name, sample ID, date and time, and results for each test. Results can be sorted by category, such as name, sample ID, time, or result, by selecting the desired sorting category with the stylus. Individual test images are viewed by selecting the desired test from the list of test results, then selecting View. Selecting the Settings tab from the User Control menu will display the Settings screen from which the date and time and user list can be edited, diagnostics can be run, sound settings can be changed, the program can be reset, and other advanced settings can be accessed. The date settings can be further customized by selecting the Display European Date Format checkbox to display the date in Day, Month, and Year format. A series of icons are displayed to the right of the user control menu in the top right corner of the display screen. The connection status icon is displayed only when the reader is connected to a computer via the USB cable. This icon indicates that the unit is ready to transfer data to the desktop. The Power Properties icon indicates whether the reader is charging, indicated by the AC power icon, or using the main battery, indicated by the battery icon. Selecting the Power Properties icon will bring up the Power Properties menu. Selecting the battery icon will display the status of the main battery, which powers the reader and the percentage of remaining power. The backup battery functions to maintain the time and date for an additional period after the main battery is completely discharged. If the reader is without power for an extended period, the time and date will need to be re-entered, but all data and user settings will be maintained even after all battery power is lost.
Selecting the Schemes tab allows the user to determine whether the reader will run on AC power or battery power and to change settings for time frames after which the reader switches to user idle, system idle, or suspends. The program reset will restart the operating system and will, in most cases, fix any issues which may occur. The program reset closes any open applications. It will not erase any saved data or saved settings. To reset the program, select Settings from the User Control menu, then select Reset Program. The reader will take a few seconds to reset. In cases where resetting the program does not fully solve a software or hardware issue, a reboot may be necessary. The reboot will exit the operating system and shut down the reader, then restart both the reader and the program. To reboot the reader, press and hold the power button and the screen brightness button until the screen turns white, then release. The reader will take a few seconds to exit the operating system, reboot the reader, and restart both the reader and the program. Once the reboot is complete, the main menu will display. To use the Abrascan reader to interpret test strips, select the main tab from the user control menu. This will open the main menu screen, displaying the reader ID, time and date, as well as the drop-down boxes for the category, test name, and username. Using the drop-down menu for each field, select the appropriate test type from the test name box and, if multiple users are entered into the reader, the appropriate username. Select Run Test. If desired, a sample ID can be added to uniquely identify the test or the field may be left blank. Select OK. The test name and, if entered, sample ID will then be displayed at the top of the screen. Insert the test strip into the black cartridge adapter with the sample pad end first. Be sure that the test strip remains flat against the adapter, the edges of the test strip will be under the guides, and that the strip is fully inserted into the cartridge adapter. With the test strip facing the user, hold the adapter by the raised thumb grip and insert the adapter into the reader until the cartridge stops and actuates the internal switch. After the strip is read, the results are displayed with the captured images of the control line and the test line. The user may select Retest to reread the test strip. If desired, New Sample ID can be selected to assign a new sample ID before retesting. Selecting View Image will display an image of the test strip. Select Back to return to the test strip results screen. To read additional strips, remove the cartridge from the reader, remove the previous test strip, and replace with a new test strip to be read. A sample ID for the new strip to be read can be entered by selecting New Sample ID, entering the appropriate sample ID, and then pressing OK. The test strip can then be read. If using only time and date information for sample identification rather than sample ID, test strips can be read in immediate succession. No additional commands are necessary. For peak battery life and performance, the Total Power Down feature should be used when shutting off the reader after use. Total Power Down exits all programs, conserving battery life and ensuring that the unit recalibrates upon startup. To initiate the Total Power Down, Use the stylus stored at the back of the reader to select settings from the user control menu located at the top of the screen. Next, select Total Power Down and then Yes. Please note that, unlike the Total Power Down, using the Power Off button will not exit the program in use. When turned back on, the program which has been running previously will appear. Be advised that the continued running of the program while the screen is off continues drawing power from the battery and will continue to deplete the battery's charge. To preserve the battery's charge, total power down should be used rather than the power off button when there will be a significant waiting period between test strip evaluations.
The data manager software enables test results to be transferred from the reader to a desktop or laptop computer, depending on the version of Windows running on the computer and whether internet access is available. The Aberscan reader will use Windows Mobile Device Center software or Microsoft Active Sync software to connect the reader to the computer. In order to initiate the installation process, the reader must be turned on. The reader is turned on by pressing the on-off button located near the bottom left of the reader. To install the data manager software, insert the flash drive into the USB port on the computer. If the computer on which the data manager software is to be installed is running Windows 7 or a more recent version and has internet access, the Windows Mobile Device Center software will automatically download and install. Select Connect without setting up your device. Right-click the Setup icon and choose to run as administrator. A new icon should now be seen on the computer's desktop. Be sure the reader is turned on. Note that in this scene the reader is on but the screen is turned off. Then connect the reader to the computer using the USB cable provided. You may minimize this screen. Activate the program by selecting the RDS 1500 Data Manager icon on the desktop. From the toolbar located at the top of the Data Manager screen, select Sync. Results will then be copied from the reader. Please note that the results will not be deleted from the reader and will appear in both the reader and the computer until deleted from the reader. The data manager will then show the previous 14 days of test results listed on the upper left panel. Information older than 14 days will be listed in the previous test section at the bottom of this panel. Dates displaying a plus can be selected to display the total number of tests run, number of positive tests, negative tests, and invalid tests on that date. By clicking on the date, the data will be displayed in the panel on the right side of the screen. Test results data can be sorted by selecting any of the categories listed in the panel on the right side of the screen. Each row on the table represents a single test. Scroll through the data by using the computer's mouse or keyboard arrow keys. Select a test for review by clicking on its row. The data and images will then be displayed below. Detailed test information can be found in the lower left of the screen. Comments can be added, updated, and stored for the test displayed by scrolling down in the test info area. Test images are located on the lower right side. Additional features shown on the toolbar include Browse for selecting the data manager result files to load, View for opening My Documents on the PC, List for producing a hard copy of the data files list or the data currently displayed, options for accessing additional options such as displaying the data format as day-month-year instead of month-day-year, 
and Excel for exporting the current data file to a Microsoft Excel format. Thank you for purchasing the Abriscan Reader. We hope this short tutorial was helpful. Please contact us with any questions.